Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello once again, my friends. It's your buddy Fluffle Husky, and I'm here in VR chat once again because I wanted to show you something cool. What does that say? What does that say? Does that say Majora's Mask? It does. That's right. Today we're looking through, we're exploring a VR chat world made entirely of Majora's Mask by Nisha Wolf. And um, right now it's still in super development, but you can go anywhere or so we're told so we're gonna go take a little tour around termina in this world <laughs> and um come along you, you ready to go let's go first things first it's absolutely it it looks so good like you guys are seeing it in a different perspective than i am but this is crazy you're telling me i get to explore my favorite game of all time in vr absolutely crazy it's so cool uh one of the reasons why i wanted to check out this world to begin with was uh they got deku flowers to work you just grab the flowers and away you go but you'll see these characters every now and then one of these and uh, if you see one of these, it just means that the area is still heavily under construction and may be extra buggy, but that's okay. One of the cool things about this world, like I said, is that there's a working inventory system. So if I double tap, I get a menu. I have sword, I have shield, hookshot, uh, bottle. There's also a map that we can use later to teleport around if we want, but I'm just gonna run around because why wouldn't I? And the way that you use, uh, you, you might notice I got a little hip pouch here. If I click that, it takes the weapon out or the item out. And I have a sword. Somebody shouldn't have given that to me. We're just going <sighs> to. But the other item that I have here is a hook shot. And uh, it freaking works. Here we go. <laughs> it's so cool. I love this. This, this, uh, this is amazing. I'm sure it's nothing special but like the fact that i have a working hook shot and can see it in first person mode is crazy to me now nisha wolf had to take some creative liberties for this obviously in order for it to work out in vr chat there's a lot of creative liberties and you're gonna see some of those but so far i, I can't wait to see where nisha takes this this is my favorite world in vr chat right now welcome to the clock tower oh i never noticed there were hook shot targets up there before i guess if you get stuck in the water is there a chest in the water Oh, dude! <laughs> I never even noticed the chest. That's crazy. Cool. Oh, look, there's a moon. Okay, well, <laughs> so like I said, this is like my third try recording this, and I, I didn't come over here before. Um, I just noticed the reflection of the chest in the water, and then I just saw the moon. It lets us teleport to the moon. I think it's only appropriate that we don't use that until we're done with the video today. So that'll be the last thing we check out is the moon. I always love that he brought out this giant piano just to teach you a three-note song. Are you guys ready to go into Clocktown? Let's go! <laughs> Welcome to Clocktown. If uh, you're wondering where everyone is, like I said, it's still a world in early development, so we're not going to see any other NPCs. It's just us here. But, uh, well, that's not entirely true, because if you look straight up in the air, you know, just a, a little, a little, a little, little, pro, little thing all going on there, right there. You see that? Yeah, as time goes on, that gets closer. And I've already seen what happens, but you guys are going to get to see it later. Also, in case you're wondering what this is on my arm, it's a inventory thing. It's like my status menu. You can see what I have equipped. You can see how much health I have, what time of day it is. It is already almost night. <laughs> so we're, we're not doing too good. All right. Uh, so let's go check out some Clock Town. A couple of areas I wanted to show you guys was uh, this is North Clock Town. And up here is where the Fairy Fountain is. Um, but before we go into the fairy fountain, let's go take a look at the Deku, the Deku minigame over here. So we could just, we could realistically just jump over the fence and I can prove it. Wee! But, uh, why would we do that when we have a perfectly good Deku flower here to do, to use? Wee! <laughs> can we just drop in? No. Okay. <laughs> there are grottos in this world, as you can see at my feet. So let's drop in. Getting in the hole. Go... <laughs> oh my god it was a long drop down but what we're gonna if, if you guys know what grotto that is that's the uh grotto here this is where the deku mini game is this is where you're supposed to play the game all three days and uh you get the piece of heart but can we just talk about how well designed the room is There's a lot of detail like that that we're going to be seeing here today. Nisha did a great job. All right, back up we go. 
All right. So this is the fairy fountain. The fairy fountain was cleverly put down a slope. There's no great fairy here yet, but again, really cool little location. Okay. Whee! There's, there's a few weird things about this, like the mayor's house, for whatever reason, has the same, like, super long drop down, as you can see, sort of. <laughs> but for whatever reason, whoa. <laughs> for whatever reason, there's a big slant going up there. Down here is the uh, water channel that lets you get into the uh, observatory. And something that I really love about this, first of all, there's water and water physics. Like, I'm sliding around, it's really cool. Some areas have little climb up sections here where you can jump up. And where there was a chest, this is normally where you get 100 rupees, but there's nothing here as you can. S Wait, there's an invisible chest here. <laughs> it has a piece of heart inside. That's cool. Um, Nisha placed a bunch of chests around that have a piece of heart in them. I haven't found anything that hasn't been a piece of heart yet, but there's a bunch of different items that you can find. Um, not everything works just yet again. Super work in progress, but it's. I love that we can still go through and have a little adventure here. But while it is still night, I want to check on one other thing. I love that there's like seamless transitions. There's no like loading screens or whatever. Um, and it really, oh, they're not here. <laughs> I'm not actually going to spin. I might actually hit something. <laughs> I love the dynamic shadows too. It's, dude, it's, it's, it's really. Oh, I can't stop gushing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this whole video has been me gushing. <laughs> He's getting closer. <laughs> Things are going to look a lot different for you guys than what I'm seeing through, because you guys are seeing, like, this big wide thing. Like, you can still see my hands. I can't see my hands. I can't see my hands till I'm about here. So, uh, if it might, it looks small to you. The thing's massive here. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Shit. All right. The last couple tries, we went to the swamp area. Let's go. Uh, let's go to Snowhead again because I'm cutting this video down. I don't know how much of it is just going to be me gushing, so I apologize if it just seems like a lot of that. Majora's Mask is my favorite game of all time. Like not even close. Second place isn't even close. I don't even know what second place would be. I just fucking love Majora. Oh wait, there's supposed to be a grotto down. Oh wait, we completely forgot something. Hold on. All right, it's almost day two. I completely forgot to grab this item. Something I might call. Uh, imperative. You see that? You, you, you see that up there? Uh, over there? You see that? It looks blue, right? Uh, yeah, it's the freaking Ocarina. How did I forget the Ocarina of Time? It's the whole gimmick. Well, not of the game, not this world. Whoa! Okay, so this is the first time I've been in town when it transitioned to day two. So I haven't, I didn't see it start raining yet. That's cool. I like that even though I've had to re-record this video multiple times now, I'm still getting to experience new stuff, which is why we're going to Snowhead, because I haven't gone to Snowhead at all yet. I, last couple times I was in the, the, the Deku Palace area, uh, Southern Swamp, so I, I don't know. It's not working. What do, what do I do? <laughs> it's not... Doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so the ocarina is playable. I love it. It's so cool. Alright. Uh, <laughs> go somewhere. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Snow Peak while we still have some time. Dude, if, if Nisha ends up making this like a fully playable world, I might never play the actual Majora's Mask ever again. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that we can be here in VR is ridiculous. What are some of your favorite video games that you would love to be able to explore in the world of VR? Tell me in the comment section down below. Yes, yes, easy. Dude, I'm so good at the video game. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this is, this is gorgeous. What the hell? Like I said, this is my first time up here. I haven't actually had a chance to check this place out yet. Um, I love it. Besides this house, though. <laughs> the Forge house is huge. What do we got back here? <gasps> Little Ducky. One of the really cool things about seeing this game in like VR chat is, like I said earlier, the artist had to take some artistic liberties um, because you don't normally get to see what's back here. So um, 
she or they, I, I don't know, admittedly, but um, take some really interesting artistic liberties. I feel, I feel right at home. This is great. What time is it? Already 1.50. <laughs> oh, is it climbable? Oh, yeah. Yes. Is this climbable? No. No, it is not. Oh, that would have been cool. I wanted to see if we could climb all the way up there to go to uh, Darunia. No. Damari's Shrine. Uh, Darunia's Ocarina of Time. Damari. Is it Damari? I don't know. I'm going to take a, a little plunge. <gasps> Grand City. Wow, well, it's not that music yet. but Dude. So good. So good. Oh my god, I'm at home. I'm with my people now. The Gorons are my favorite race in Zelda. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to look mad. I just had this. Nobody tell the Gorons I did that. <laughs> I love the Gorons. They're my favorite race in Zelda. So, um, I'm right at home now. <laughs> okay, it is nighttime. Oh, dude, the shop's open. <gasps> A bottle of gold dust. -na 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 -na. We got a bottle of gold dust. And you can take it and equip it. Da, ba, ba, ba. Da, where's my gold dust? Gold dust. Yeah. Ow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there was one time I saw on YouTube that someone was like, dude, how excited you get is super cringe. And I said, dude, I don't give a shit. <laughs> all right. Back out we go. Now, that's enough shopping now. We got the gold dust. That's all we needed. If you go to Milk Road, you can get a bottle of the Chateau Romani, too. So. Oh, the chandelier's not here. Yet. Yet. The chandelier's not here yet. Oh, I know. Let's go see if the... Let's go see if we can get across to where the uh, Lens of Truth is. I'll be honest. I really hope... I don't want to actually have to jump across. Oh, no. They are there, aren't they? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, courage, 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 courage. Oh, God, dude. I'm afraid of heights. This is, this is awful. This sucks. Oh, man. The void, the void, the void. Uh, just do it. Ah, easy. We did it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to put into words that I'm a big baby, but Jesus. All right. Here we go. What? Wait. What? Wait a second. The le This isn't a piece of heart? I didn't mean to grab it yet. Oh, the lens of truth. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where's my bag? What? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can go up to see Dormani's grave. Whoa. Okay, this bloom. I'm so glad we came over here. All right, we gotta go back. Uh, I'm gonna be a baby. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just warp to the mountain. <laughs> I think I told you guys, but in the mini map, this thing, you can actually select locations on the map to warp around if you wanted to. And I didn't really feel like jumping back over. I am a giant baby, I, and I accept that. I accept that entirely. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to the mountain village. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Yes. Okay. Does the lens. Mm, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. That would have been so cool. Again, I know it's a work in progress, but it would have been really cool um, if we had been able to see this. But the fact that it's even in the game is crazy. Oh, and it does deplete my magic. That's cool. Um. <laughs> Oh, that is really scary. <laughs> There's something really scary about that in the uh, the early morning hours here, just enveloped in the mist. I'm a I'm a big strong. I'm a big strong. I'm big strong. Uh, let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Okay. Cool. Wow. <sighs> Snowhead. I know it's just a video game. Somebody's, someone's probably going to be like, why are you so scared to fall down the void? Um, I know I'm standing in my, my office. I know that it's not real, but um, just visually seeing it, something in my, in my big monkey brain is just like immediate panic. <laughs> now, the last dungeon was still very much, uh-huh, dungeon functionality not completed. 
Dungeons will be fully implemented in a later phase. The world roadmap located in settings room outlines where the dungeons will be planned. For now, you can explore a very unfinished version of the dungeons. Be warned, you may get stuck, see broken textures, or not even be able to access all of it. That's fine. We can just warp out of here later. Cool. Can we push this? Oh, we can. Uh, not very far, though. Huh. Well. Um... <laughs> and that concludes our tour of Snowhead Temple. <laughs> I'm laughing not because I'm laughing at Nisha Wolf or anything. We were given proper warning. Um, I was just curious how far in we'd be able to push that uh, to look into the temple. I did not expect our, our 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 adventure to be done here, but that's okay. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Oh, I am doing something wrong. Oh, it was me. I was the idiot. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but the ground was shaking. Uh, it's day three. We're going to have to go take a look really quick here. Um, <laughs> sitting here just like... Ice physics? No, that's okay. Dude. This is really cool. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Let me... Uh, Jesus. Oh, God. Everything shaking scares me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it on the recording. But oh my god, every single time the moon shakes, my, the screen just goes like, and it's just, uh, okay, I know that's a floor down there, so this isn't going to be as, oh my god, the moon shaking, or the earth shaking, the planet shaking because of the moon. We still have quite a bit of time before we get to go see our little surprise, but let's just keep going. I forgot what the fastest way to get up, oh, over here, there's a stairwell that we can use. Should be a warp up. Cool, cool, whoa. Oh no, you know what I just thought of? Dude, Stone Tower Temple is gonna be so scary. <laughs> Especially with everything upside down. Uh, oh, that's right, the fire arrow room is over here. No, wait a minute. No, 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 the fire arrow room. Is this backwards? Wait a minute. I think this is backwards? Cause you come upstairs, you come through here, you run over here. Oh, no, it's not. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. It's not backwards. You run over there, and then you run that way. That's the fire arrow room. Yep. There it is. <laughs> I wonder if we can get to Goat's room. I guess we'll have to actually go upstairs and find out. Oop. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are as floored as I am. It might be a completely different experience because I'm actually in the world, but that's more reason for you to come... More reason for you to come check the world out. It is, uh, you can play VR chat if you don't have a VR headset. You can do desktop mode. Whoop. The warp. <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. Like, if you're not a fan of heights, I'm sorry, but... Oh god. It's... It's so high up. I would dead ass be having a, like, total meltdown if, if I was actually here in real right now. I cannot do heights. Alright, goat's room. No goat, obviously, but... Oh, wait! Were those details in the original game? The, the, the giants? I don't remember if those those details were there in the, in the original game. Actually, it might not even be in the original, but it might be in the 3DS remake. I should replay the 3DS version. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah, bam. To the victor go the spoils. Cool. All right. Um, it is three o'clock. Um, so we should probably get ready to go back uh, towards um, Clock Town. We're gonna have to go back to Clock Town, and as you know, there's only one way to travel. Ocarina. You ready? We have liftoff. Boop! And we're back. Um, uh, oh. So, uh, would you guys like to look up? That's what I'm looking at right now. You see my hair? You, you, see, my, you see my nose? I, I'm not kidding when I say the moon is huge. It is a little after 6.30. We are going to have to make our way over to our designated viewing place because... I don't want to be under that, okay? I think the observatory is going to be the perfect spot 
Oh, God, dude. We should have evacuated so long ago. Cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese! It looks so much smaller on your screen than it does actually in VR. It's nutty. <gasps> hey! 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 The fireworks! So good. So good. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! I, ne <laughs> I never looked up! I never looked up and saw the transition on that. That... Oh, Jesus. Your breath stank. Well, this is it, my friends. No, it's not it. It's, it. It might be it for them, but it's not it for us. We still have one more thing I want to do. I want to go to the moon. I want to go up there. It's huge. And you know what? I just realized that um, even if we were to watch the festivities from right here, first of all, the impact would kill us. But more importantly, uh, the moon will still land on us. I'm looking straight up and the moon is there. I will consume. Consume everything. <laughs> Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. I can quite literally look up and just see nothing. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I can look up and see literally nothing but moon. This is it. It's been nice knowing y'all. I'll see you guys in the afterlife. Oh. Huh? And, and yeah, that's... So that's all that happens at 6. Uh, it's 6 a.m. on day one again. But you know what? Who cares? That was still really cool. I can't wait to see what Niche Wolf does with the actual, like, moon crashing. But I guess that'll come at a later date. But that's not the end of the video. We still have to go look at the moon. All right, so you guys ready to go to the moon? Here we go. Whoa. Wow. This is pretty. The moving of the clouds around the edge is a little a little alarming, but a really nice touch. It's actually super pretty here. Nisha did a really good job. It's so peaceful. Sort of. <laughs> oh, this is a nice touch. There's silent princesses uh, from Twilight Prince. No. Breath of the Wild, the flower. The technology to smell things in VR isn't here yet. And honestly, I don't know if I want that. People would troll so hard with it. And I see a sign, so let's go that way. Uh, the moon trials are in a work in progress state. They are completely broken. You can teleport to them anyway, though. Um, you know, I think I'm actually just going to go to the Majora room. Um, but if you guys want to come check out the, the trials, by all means, please do. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, yeah, it's it's very broken. That's fine. Look at this place, man. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that's that's where we're going to end the video. Nisha Wolf, the work he did here is amazing. I absolutely love it. So let's get a quick, quick high five for Nisha Wolf. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Guys, if you want to come check this out, it is the Major Legend of Zelda VR Chat Majora's Mask by Nisha Wolf. The world is open. Uh, it's currently sandboxed. There's so many plans to come in the future. I cannot wait to see how everything turns out once those plans get put into action. Um, thank you for making this again, Nisha. I don't know if I said that already, but Majora's Mask is my favorite game of all time, so being able to run around in VR and just kind of experience it, um, even in this state, has been nothing short of fantastic. I mean, uh, I've been trying to get this recording done because I wanted to make a video about it so long, so um, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new around here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Again, leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me what kind of games you'd like to experience in VR, like explore the world and whatnot, and um, if, you know, depending on what we get, we'll hop into VR chat sometime and see if we can find those worlds for you. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay awesome. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I'll catch you in the next video. High five.